one of our kids birthdays is coming up so in this video we're going to make her a present we've got an old bike laying about completely out of use and we've got a whole load of plywood so we're gonna use those to make a balance bike i've drawn it out on cardboard to check if the dimensions match up with the wheels then cut it out and use these as templates for the project I have screwed these two pieces together so that after sanding they will be identical. I'm using a piece of paper to make sure I have enough clearance so that the saddle will still be adjustable. I'm now gluing the one side of the swing arm to the frame and I'm going to leave the other side removable so I can always replace the back tire. Pre-drilling the holes to fit the nuts in more easily. I don't have the right size washer, so I'm going to make my own with aluminium. Again, I'm making two at the same time to make sure they're both the identical size. Because we're stacking plywood of a certain thickness, in some places we need to add or remove material to make sure the wheels fit. Here I'm marking the center to center distance of the wheels so I know where the front wheel should go and to determine the angle of the fork. Adding some material to attach the fork to.
I've clamped this piece of wood on top of the frame so I have extra support for the jigsaw. Because the front axle is wider, I've had to add an extra layer of plywood. I've glued it with the wheel in place so that I'm 100% sure that when the glue dries, the wheel will be in the correct position. The glue should be strong enough, but because it's for a child, we put a couple of screws in it as well. We could have made the handlebars and wheels with plywood as well, but we've chosen to use those from the old bike because we think the end result will look better. Also thinking of the end result, we're going to try to make the, all the plywood face the same direction. For the authentic look, we're also going to add a front light made from stacked plywood. We're using cut-off nails to stop the plywood from sliding whilst gluing. The glue is now dry, so time to shape the light. No better way to do this than with a jigsaw. This went surprisingly well. Here I'm going to start making the saddle. Again, I've made a template from cardboard. Now it's looking a bit ridiculous, but after shaping and sanding, it will look a lot better. Now that the glue's dried, the first thing I'm going to do is make sure the saddle slides in smoothly. Drilling holes through the seat post to mark where the slot has to go so that the seat will be adjustable. Time to start shaping the saddle. I'm 
adding some plywood to give it a more complete look. I'm adding a layer of varnish to make it suitable for outdoors. We're using clear varnish so you can still see the lines of the plywood. I've now varnished all of the components so time for the final assembly. Mounting the front light with one screw and rubber so it won't immediately break off when bashed. With these two bolts, I can decide the saddle height and at the same time fix the swing arm. Well, all in all, I think the leftover plywood and that old bike have given us a pretty good end result and I think someone's going to be very pleased with their present.